What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and today I've got a story time that was sent in to me about a uh, Minecraft kid fighting the teacher right up my alley so I figured we could talk about it. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. But be sure to press the like button or no joke, no scam, a Minecraft kid's gonna throw hands with you and let's go. Nice rack in her ass Brazilian just turned 21 but my bank's a million. All right, so this is a subscriber story that was sent in to me, and he was in his career and future class, which I guess is a class at some school, the one he's at, where they basically have to, like, focus on a career and a job and research different types of, like, you know, jobs they might have after school. They have to plan out budgets. It basically just gets you used to, like, how to pay taxes, all the life stuff that school apparently doesn't teach you. It sounds like a good program, right? But one of the things at the end of the year that they had to do was they had to basically, like, talk talk about what they were going to do with their life. It was one of the projects that they had to do. And I understand that like a lot of schools have this, you know, what do you want to do in the future talk? But whatever, it is what it is. And this particular kid that uh, he was in this class with was very into Minecraft. And I understand that it's had a comeback, as I've said when I've made these videos before. Not every Minecraft kid is like this, but this particular guy was like so obsessed with Minecraft, it was still all he was talking about to anyone. And listen, I understand liking video games, but yeah, if you're in a class where you have to be like preparing for your future and picking a job that you want to have, it's probably not the time to be constantly talking about Minecraft. So whatever. It comes time for every to pre everyone to present their projects. Everybody presents and most people are like lawyer, accountant, you know, relatively normal jobs like mechanic, everything like that. And it finally becomes Minecraft kids turn to present and he gets up there and he basically starts to give this presentation about how his plan is to qualify for as many government benefits as possible so he doesn't have to work and he can just play Minecraft all day. And he's not presenting this like in a funny, ironic way where he's like, oh yeah, you know, this is a joke because I really like video games. He's like, I've done the math and by qualifying for X amount of this and that and these grants and this grant that I can qualify for, I should be able to maintain an income of this and because of that, I'll be able to just play Minecraft all day. And the teacher kind of interrupts his presentation and is like, wait, so you're telling me your presentation on what you want to do with your life and for your career is just nothing? Like you just want to play Minecraft all day? And he's like, yeah, basically. And the teacher's like, okay, I don't think you understood the assignment. That's not not really an option you know you can't really decide to just do nothing like you're never gonna work you're never gonna go anywhere you're just going to sit in your room and play Minecraft and he's like yeah basically it's what I enjoy so that's all I want to do and the teacher kind of says something along the lines of like you need to quit that game because clearly you're way too addicted to it which I can't even disagree with man like I love video games but I feel like if that's literally all you want to do with your life to the point where you have no other goals at all like your only goal is to just play a video game every day forever you probably need to take a break because I feel like that's a little bit of a problem because imagine if somebody replaced this with anything else and like you know it, you, you would feel differently about it yeah actually I really love just uh, going down to the pier and looking at waves so I'm just going to do that forever that's it I don't want to do anything else that's my career goal like it's cool I'm glad you enjoy that but I feel like you got to have more than one thing going on in your life that you're trying to achieve you know what I'm saying anyways as I said the teacher interrupted his presentation to be like that's really dumb you know and so his defense to that is just like no it's not it's really smart actually because Minecraft is the only thing that I could do that brings me joy and the teacher is kind of like Minecraft is the only thing on the planet that brings you joy and the kids like yeah so if I don't manage to somehow be a professional Minecrafter I'm not doing anything and so the teacher is like well you do realize that's not an actual job right like it's not a job and he goes yes it is and the teacher's like no it's not and listen, we can get into the semantics about whether or not, you know, it's okay to just do nothing but play video games all day, but we can all agree that it is not a job to play Minecraft. Like, being a YouTuber can be a job that's focused around Minecraft. You know, there's no denying that Dream is out here getting the bag, but just, like, no one is going to just pay you to play Minecraft, like, period. You're not filming it, you're not recording it, you're just playing it, dude. Could you imagine if somebody out there is just, like, sending you 40 grand to build stuff, not for a server, but just, like, for you? So the teacher, again, is kind of like, well, I, okay, I'm failing. Like, I'm not giving you credit for this presentation, this is stupid, it's not real. And the Minecraft kid is like, you're not going to fail me because it's a real job. If you fail me, then we're gonna have a problem. And the teacher is like, well, what is that supposed to mean? We're gonna have a problem. Are you threatening me? And he goes, I'm not threatening you, I'm just saying that I'm crazy good at people 
PvP, so you might not want to test me. Which is insanely cringe to all of us, right? Because we're like, oh my god, this guy is threatening to fight the teacher and use the term PvP, right? But on top of that, the teacher doesn't know what it means, so he goes, what does PvP mean? And the kid cracks his knuckles trying to be intimidating and goes, player versus player. Alright, I'm gonna interrupt the video for one second. If you look at your screen, you'll see a gift card code. I give one of these away in every video, so that way you guys can uh, have incentive to turn on notifications and subscribe. So if you haven't already, you should. If you already do, you're a legend. And press the like button, your mom's a hoe, and let's get back to it. Thanks. And the teacher is like, well, this is not a video game. It's real life. And he goes, the concept's the same. Which, like, I appreciate the spirit of him thinking the concept's the same. But I'm gonna be honest, fighting in a video game where you can, like, jump and build blocks is not the same thing as fighting somebody in person. And he kind of goes over to the teacher and is like, let's do this. And the teacher's like, I'm not gonna hit you, right? Because the teacher's not trying to get fired. They don't want to lose their job. But the kid is like, well, I'm hitting you. And he goes to hit him, right? But instead of, like, doing a normal punching motion the way you would think somebody would, just a straight like, jab, right? That's what we're all thinking. This kid, no joke, actually did the punch from Minecraft. Like, you know how when you're punching in Minecraft and your fist is just kind of, like, basically just, just looking like it's having a seizure right in front of your face type of vibe? That's what he does to him. So it's more just kind of like repeatedly hitting him from four inches away. And the teacher is like, stop, stop. What's wrong with you? Stop. And the kid's like, no, you're, you're going to give me a good grade for this. And the teacher's like, I'm not going to give you a good grade for wanting to play Minecraft all the time. Like, look at you. Look at how crazy it's made you. And listen, man, this dude has to have been just nuts already. Like, there's no way Minecraft can make you this crazy. I'm sorry. I just refuse to believe that most people that have ever touched the game, you know, I've played it, have ever, ever been in a situation situation where they think punching like a Minecraft character is the right move in a fight, unless you've just lost the plot. Like, in this dude's mind, he's gotta have Minecraft vision where everything is blocks. There's no way that this dude's vision isn't crazy if he's legitimately thinking that he's in the block world, right? Regardless, he's kinda just, like, annoying the teacher, and the teacher's like, stop it, stop it, and he's like, no. And so, a kid in the class that, you know, can actually, like, do something about it gets up to go help him, because the teacher's just like, I can't, I'm not gonna do anything because I'm not trying to get fired. So the teacher goes, goes over to break it up and the kid turns around and starts trying to do the minecraft like hit motion to the teacher or not the teacher the kid who came to help and the kid who came to help is not the teacher he doesn't have rules so he just winds back and does like a normal jab the one you were thinking about a real punch and it just hits this minecraft kid square in the chin like crimson chin status you know from fairly odd parents and the kid kind of falls back straight onto his butt. Like, the punch hits him in the chin, and it, it wasn't an insanely hard punch, but just, I don't think he was expecting to get hit, so it kind of lifts him off his feet a little bit and plops him onto his butt. And he's sitting there, and he has his hands on the ground. And, like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the old YouTube video, David After Dentist, where the kid just is, like, screaming in the car. But that is the explanation for what this kid starts doing when he realizes that he just got punched in the face and put on his butt in front of every Buddy, dude, he just immediately starts to be like Aah! instead of just even a normal cry, he just lets out more of a goat scream, right? And everybody's like, What? And he's like, Wah! Wah! Just over and over again, sounding like the weirdest ambulance siren you've ever heard. And the teacher is like, Are you okay? And he just kind of looks at him and is like, No. So the teacher does what the teacher thinks is the right decision and calls the office, obviously. And he's like, We have a situation, and they come down you know and so they take the the kid who hit him and the minecraft kid up to the office but the uh principal and the dean stay behind to talk to the teacher and get a statement right and the teacher is like i'm gonna be honest he was doing this presentation about how he wanted to be a full-time minecrafter but like not through content creation or anything because there was other kids that had done presentations about being a youtuber like that was an option he just didn't say that and when i told him he couldn't do that he started trying to attack me and the principal was like well are you injured you know like where did he hit you what happened and he goes Goes, no because he was just doing this weird motion like this and he starts to do the Minecraft motion and he goes like I don't really know what he was doing and at that point the subscriber who had been silent on the situation until then is like yeah he was doing the Minecraft punching thing and everybody was like oh yeah yeah that's what it is that's what it is and the teacher and the principal looked at each other with like the weirdest look on their face and I can only assume the thought that they were sharing is like these kids are literally so weird not all of them man but like you've got to be thinking our generation is a little bit nuts if some kid starts running at you and trying to punch you like you know, a, a Minecraft video game. It's just a bizarre situation. 
The kid ended up getting suspended though, but uh, thankfully the one who laid out the Minecraft kid didn't get in trouble. I guess the principal just kind of was like, I don't know what you're talking about, you know, when the Minecraft kid said he got laid out. So regardless, moral of the story, dude, um, yeah, I, I guess just, just like playing video games without playing, making content, being a professional or anything isn't really a job. Uh, seriously though, on top of it, if you want to make it a job, just do it. If people say it's unrealistic, it's because it kind of is unrealistic. Like you can't blame a teacher for telling you the odds of playing Minecraft just to play Minecraft for a job or is small. Sure, theoretically, you could become friends with a billionaire that just wants to pay you to hang out with him and play Minecraft, but like, that th th that's not likely to happen. Anyways, guys, I think that's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd really appreciate you taking a second to press the like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought, and of course, subscribe if you're new and turn on those notifications. If you really want to help me out, I'll put a link to the intro song down below, along with a link to my podcast, The Scuffed Cast, or of course, you could use code SCRUBBY at the G Fuel checkout. Great way to get a discount on G Fuel. Last but not least, I got two more things I gotta shout out. First things first, I did go ahead and put some of my story times up on Spotify, so be sure to go check that out if you haven't already. Link is down below. And on top of that, we've got the Karen Christmas sweater. This link's at the top of the description, but go check it out so you can get festive and jolly. And uh, yeah, on that note, guys, that'll do it. Don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot, and I'm out. Peace.